Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Windows Emoji Picker and what that will do is it'll let you select all kinds of different emojis that you could insert and in pretty much anything that you could copy and paste into. And Many people don't even know that this thing exists. It's, it's a newer feature for Windows 10 and there's no real shortcut or icon to get to. It's kind of a keyboard shortcut that you got to press to open it up. So let me show you how it works and then after that I'm going to show you an alternative to the Windows Emoji Picker because Apparently a lot of people have problems using it. Either it doesn't want to open or some people have a problem where they can click on an emoji to copy it and it won't paste into their document and so on. So I'll show you that after we go over the uh, emoji picker itself. So to open it, there's a couple different ways. So if you look on your keyboard, on the bottom left you have that Windows key. So if you hold that down and you press either period or colon, I don't know why they have two different ways to do it, it'll bring it up. So I'm going to hold down the Windows key and press the period key. And now you can see that I have this emoji panel here, and it's broken down into categories such as most recently used, smiley faces and animals, people, celebrations and objects, food and plants, transportation and places, and various symbols. And then up on top here, you have your, you know, your colorful type emojis. And if you, if you click here, you have your K emojis, which are you know, just a different style, more of a text-based thing you do, you know, like all days up in, you know, with notepad or something. And then here you have just various symbols you could use. You know, kind of if you were to use the character map in Windows, which we also have a video on. So if you ever want to check out how to use the Windows character map, you could check out that video. So anyways, going back to here. And so when you start typing, so if I start typing dog, it'll kind of look for something that matches what I'm typing, even though it still types it into your document as well. Then I could click on it and it will replace the word dog with dog. So that's pretty, that's pretty neat how it does that. So all you got to do to use it is once you find one, you just put your cursor where you want it. Just keep in mind when you click off of it, it's going to go away, so you have to bring it back up again. So Windows key and period. And then let's say I want to click that, and it's going to put it wherever I insert it and let's say I want to go down here and it goes goes away again so that's kind of frustrating but you know as long as you could just use your key combination real quick you could do that so anyway so that's pretty much how you use it just press the key combination windows key in period or colon uh, find your category or do a search and click on it and it'll automatically insert it so now for the alternative to that if you don't like this or if it's not working for you you could use what's called the Emoji Viewer, which you could install from the Microsoft Store. And what that'll do is it, same type of thing where it has faces, people, you know, all kinds of different categories, and so on. And once you click on something, or I should say right click on something, you could copy it, go back in there, paste it in. Or if you have some, you know, favorites, you could pin this for a favorite. Um, you know, see information about it, which is not going to really be too helpful. It's kind of tell you what it's called. And here you have some symbols. And here's this. Here's if you pin your items, this is where they would be. And you know, the recently used ones. You know, kind of like with the emoji picker. So it works in the same way. And so another cool thing, where we're both Emoji Picker and this, if you want to change the skin tones, you could you know, do that kind of thing. You could see on the side here what it's doing. Um, so, And the good thing about this is once you open it, it's open and you're not, it's not going to close every time you use it. So I'll put a link to this Emoji Picker, or actually Emoji Viewer program in the description of the video. And that way you could go to the Microsoft Store and download it and get your, try them both and see which one you like better. So once again, Emoji Viewer and Emoji Control Panel, kind of similar, uh, both by Microsoft. And to do the Emoji Picker, Windows key plus period, or you could download Emoji Viewer and take it from there. All right, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.